Welcome to the NRL previews for round two of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour to unpack all the games this week. And this is the second Friday night clash. It's a rivalry that needs very little introduction. Yes. I can already see him rubbing his hands. <laughs> Battle of the West, and no surprise, it yes. is standing room only. To Penrith first, they come into this season with even more pressure yet again. Will it be a four paid? I mean, that doesn't even rhyme to start yeah. with. Now, the World Club Challenge. They were a little bit slow last year, but Ivan's come out and said this is exactly how they started last year. It was. Uh, I keep saying, the question remains, like, can they maintain that level of intensity and yeah. like bring it into 2024? Again, it's going to be a, a massive task if they pull off to, uh, a four-peat, um, no doubt about that. But, you know, I feel like the last couple of games with the Panthers, they have lacked a bit of creativity. They haven't really get, been getting on the score sheet, if I'm going to be totally honest. They are looking clunky at times, um, but hopefully, again, like you said, 2023, they were a slow build in progress, but they are coming up against Parramatta, who are absolutely off, are out of the blocks. and. For me personally, being an ex-Panther, these are the games you want to play in. It's going to be a sold-out crowd out in Penrith, so I can't wait for this one. Is that enough to lift the motivation in, in Penrith? I, I don't feel like they need that added motivation. You know, they're, they're a well-oiled machine and, you know, they've got the players around them to do something special. Um, it's up to them, I guess. OK, well, let's look over the Eels now. They've uh, had the wood over their Western rivals. They mm. had two wins against them last year. It was like the, the game that couldn't happen. Yes. Um, they played some good footy over the weekend, mm. and the key message from the player interviews this week was that they've been playing... When they try and play pretty footy, it mm. doesn't work, and they need to go back to playing that gritty footy. Will that be enough to sort of unsettle the Panthers going into that game? Well, they want to play gritty. You've got to look at two guys, Junior Polo, Regan campbell Gill. Those guys are no nonsense. They, they're up and down. They're very hard to handle. And it's all off the back of their four pack. And I have to mention Bryce Cartwright. Yeah. What, what, what a sensation he's been. He's been out, absolutely outstanding. Uh, early in his career, obviously, came out as a shining light. Kind of, you know, hobbled through. But now he's back to playing his best footy. So it's awesome to see him create that combination with Mitch Mose as well. But question marks remain as well. Mitch pulled up a bit sore with that groin injury mm. and uh, you know he is their key to win this game. Well he is and if you speak to Brad Arthur his post-match interviews he was like I wasn't going to get him off the game he was told not to kick after half time he still did he's just one of those players who yeah wants to win the game and wants to do those extras. Is it too soon to be doing that and playing like that? Yes and no. Um, yeah, you know, he's a very important cog to their machine. Um, uh, like I said with Mitch, you know, he, he's definitely one of the best halfbacks in the competition. Uh, is it too early? Uh, it depends on the severity of the injury, but, uh, you know, if I was bad, I probably would have taken off my star play, playmaker this, this early in the season. Well, he's going to get tested across from Cleary in this game, who he said is a halfback he should mould himself mm. off. Where is this game won? There's so many battles across the field. Where Who wins it and how do they I win it? I love that key matchup you just said. <laughs> you look at last year, like when Nathan was out for origin, Mitch has come, come straight in and he's done an outstanding job. You know, I've played with both halfbacks. Um, both are very vocal, both are very energetic and both are very calm-headed as well. So, uh, again, it's it's going to be a massive clash. It's very hard to separate these two. My heart's, <laughs> my heart's saying Penrith for obvious reasons, but... I feel like power might get the upper edge in this one. Oh, OK. They're going to go for a three-peat. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now he's jumping back off the fence. All right, this one is going to be epic. Not many tickets left for this one at all. So if you do want to see this match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, remember you can watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 8pm.